Hi, welcome to another video. I'm Tim and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Unify controller on a Synology NAS in a Docker container. Please note that this is just Unify network and not Protect or any of the other applications. This is just Unify network. So you'll just have the Unify network controller running in a Docker container on a Synology NAS. So let's get started. Firstly, what we need to do is download and install Docker. If you've already have Docker downloaded and installed on your Synology NAS, you, you can actually skip this step and I will actually put chapters in the description so that you can jump to different places as you wish. So to install Docker, what you need to do is have already logged into your Synology NAS as I have done here and what we need to do is select package center from within the package center window in the search bar type in docker and press enter this should then bring up container manager which is actually docker so it's actually the docker container manager this is actually correct so all you need to do is click install this will then download docker as it has done now and then you should be presented with a destination where you want to install the docker application to this may or may not appear on screen depending on how many hard drives and so on you have in your system if it does appear just select a destination and click next then you will be presented with the container manager install confirm settings just make sure that they run after installation box is ticked and click done this will then proceed to install docker container manager just wait for it to complete then once it's installed you should see a section in your package center window under installed and you should have container manager under the list of installed so this confirms that docker container manager has been successfully installed so you can then go ahead and close the package center window and then select container manager this will then bring up the container manager window as you'll see it has done on the screen now then what you need to do is go down to and select registry with the registry window open in the search box at the top right corner what you need to type in is jacob j a c o b a l b e r t y you should have typed in jacob alberti and then once you've typed that in at the top of the list you should have jacob alberti forward slash unify and this is the actual unify controller that you want to install so just click on it once and then click download then with the choose tag window on screen you need to choose a tag and I would recommend selecting latest which already should appear in that box and then click apply this will then proceed to download the unify controller as you'll see it is doing now just wait for this to finish downloading then you'll see the message saying it's successfully downloaded and it should then take you into the images menu automatically so you should then see Jacob Alberti forward slash unify and with a tag of latest in the list of images so what you need to do is click on Jacob Alberti then in that window that appears select run and then for the image make sure it's showing as Jacob Alberti forward slash unify colon latest as it is doing now and for the container name I will call it unify underscore controller you can't actually use spaces in the container names so you have to actually use the names without spaces or for example as I'm doing here use an underscore 
so we'll call it unify underscore controller under enable resource limitation I would recommend ticking this box and depending on how much power your Synology NAS has and how much memory and so on just adjust the CPU priority as you wish in this case I'm going to set it as medium the memory limit I have 16 gigabytes of RAM in this Synology NAS so I'm going to leave the memory limit as 4096 megabytes which is 4 gigabytes of RAM under the enable auto restart I will tick that option which will automatically restart the controller should your Synology NAS lose power for example and end up being restarted so once your Synology NAS has restarted and Docker has then restarted your Unify controller will automatically restart itself so once you've ticked enable resource limitation and enable auto restart you can then click next then for the port settings you can leave that as they are under volume settings click add folder then you will see from the list of folders we have docker highlighted with docker highlighted what you need to do is click on create folder and then enter a folder name of unify all in lowercase and click ok so what this should do is then create a subfolder called unify within the docker folder so you should have a subfolder as you'll see on screen at the moment called unify and it's under the docker folder so what you need to then do is click on docker to highlight it make sure that docker is highlighted and not unify and with docker highlighted click select then you should be back at the volume settings window and you should see a folder name called forward slash docker then in the box next to forward slash docker you need to type in another forward slash and then type in unify so in that box next to forward slash docker you said should have forward slash unify then what you need to do is scroll down to environment and look for bind underscore priv and for bind underscore priv you need to change that volume from true to false so over type that and type in false instead of true and for the line below that for run as underscore uid zero you also need to change that to false so make sure that bind underscore priv shows false and run as underscore uid zero also shows false as it has done here on screen so scroll down further to network and under the network section you need to change the network from bridge to host so once you've changed network to host you can then click next then for the summary screen you can leave the box ticked for run the container after wizard is finished and then click done you will now see that we have jacob alberti forward slash unify colon latest and it's now sharing with a blue dot and in use this means that the docker container has been created successfully so then what we need to do is click on the list of containers so select container from the left side menu and here you should be taken into the list of active containers and you should have a status of green and a name should be unify underscore controller this means that the unify controller is actually up and running so to test this we'll open up a new tab and then we'll type in the IP address of our Synology NAS followed by a colon and then 8443 
So what you should have typed in is the IP address for your Synology NAS that you use to access this station manager and then a colon and then the number 8443. Then once you have typed in the IP address followed by colon and 8443 just press enter and then this should take you to a warning window where your connection is not private or you should have some sort of message. Just bypass this and click continue and proceed and this will then load up the Unify network server where you can go ahead and set up your Unify network giving your Unify network a server name selecting the country and so on so I won't go into detail about how to set up a Unify network as I've done this in multiple videos before so just take a look at my previous videos if you want to know how to set up a Unify network so this confirms that the Unify network controller is up and running within a docker container on a Synology NAS I hope you found this video useful thanks for watching take care bye for now Thank you.